Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 22nd. This reading is for somebody. We'll see. We'll see. It's just, you know, it's the daily vibes. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. Apologize for not having one for today. It was my birthday, so I didn't, uh, I didn't work. So here we are. This is for the 22nd. Let's see what we got. My birthday was the 20th. So I didn't do one for the 21st because I would have had to do it the night before. And today is the 21st. But anyway, this is for the 22nd. What do we got for the 22nd? Please show me. Please show me what we have for the 22nd. Well, now that it came out as a challenge, okay? Teamwork. Working together is a challenge. Mutual respect is a challenge. You know, it looks like they're going to help her. You know, so somebody, somebody may be reluctant to help when it's in this position. You know, reluctant to help. There could be reluctant to help because there's been a lack. I mean, this is a card of communication. It's a card of working together. It's a card of collaboration. So it's like somebody is reluctant to help because of, you know, maybe there hasn't been teamwork. Maybe there hasn't been, you know, com ade adequate communication. You know, somebody, you know, may not have handled a situation correctly or something like that. And it's like these people, they're going to help her, but it, it's reluctant. There's reluctance here with it in a challenge, challenging position. Anyway, but this is working together. Teamwork. It's also a card of appreciation. Oh, the death card. You know, the death card. When the death card comes out, there's a major ending here, a major release, a major change, a transformation. This is a life change. A transition. Somebody has been contemplating, contemplating an offer, but not taking it. Four of Wands reversed, you know what this is. This is a relationship is about to be more committed. And you notice somebody's thinking about it. They're thinking about a relationship. They're thinking about a partnership. They're thinking about basically a relationship and whether they really want to commit to it, whether they want this new beginning, whether they want to work together with this person or what. This one is looking at commitment. You know, this is a this is the four of wands reversed is unexpected fortune as well. So somebody may have unexpectedly stumbled upon a major new beginning with somebody that could bring them unexpected fortune. I don't know what teamwork. Oh, king of wands reversed. Now this is also an upcoming celebration. There's an upcoming celebration. Now, the King of Wands reversed. This is somebody who has lost their focus, lost their concentration, doesn't, may not have courage, may feel weak. Um, pride may be an issue. Contro trying to control a situation could be an issue. Very controlling energy in reversed. Trying to keep themselves under control. Trying to remain in control. This is, I mean, this is great. The Eight of Pentacles under the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wanting to put in effort. Now we got somebody that's wanting to put in effort, you know, 
This is a hard worker, somebody that is very skilled, trying to avoid a disaster <laughs> with a tower moment. Maybe there was a tower moment and, and they felt a big shake up. Maybe they, this is a rude awakening. Maybe somebody's had a rude awakening that something has come to an end and now they want to put in effort. Somebody is, is, has had a rude awakening or they're going to or it's coming and even, with, even with that reverse. If there's been some sort of major disruption here, I think it's already happened or it's about to happen. And I don't think it's somebody, I think somebody is trying to avoid they're trying to avoid something. Ooh, there's a soulmate connection. Look at that shit right next to each other. These two are soulmates. Soulmates, okay? So we got, we got I mean, the king of, king of swords and the queen of swords. Doesn't matter what sign they are. This is Aries, Leo. Oh, not Aries. Um, I meant to say air, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But we all have this in our chart, even in our Venus you know, even in uh, anywhere. I mean, we, we all have it, okay? I'm not even getting into it. But anyway, it could be anybody. We have soulmates here. Somebody has been trying to avoid, it's almost like they've been trying to avoid their freaking soulmate. With that four of wands? Absolutely. The card is actually better in reversed to me. Uh, uh, oh my. Somebody has been trying to avoid. And now they have to make that painful, stressful decision. And that's what's going on. Somebody is making a painful, stressful decision as to whether they want to let this connection go or they want to work on it. That's the choice here. That's the decision. We have somebody here that is contemplating deeply whether they want to commit to this a perfect match. It is definitely a perfect match. There's no question. With the king and the queen of the same suit, apps right next to each other. Uh-huh. Yep. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely a perfect match right here. We have contemplation. Big time, making a choice. <laughs> so that's what's going on. We have somebody here that is in the process of making a decision as to whether they want to put, to get, put in effort and work together and communicate and have a new beginning, a new life with this person. Whoever it is, that's what, that's what it, because there's a commitment here. This is a commitment. And then maybe somebody has been avoiding making this decision. Somebody has been avoiding making this decision, but, I mean, it's really unavoidable. It is unavoidable, especially with this king and queen. I mean, the truth needs to be spoken. Both of these people are investigating. Both of these people are, are contemplating what is the best move. Both of these people are very intelligent. They are well read. Both of these people are making a decision. Not just one. Both of these people are wondering if, if they can work together. It feels like both of their lives have been turned upside down because of this connection. I think that whatever this connection is, it, it probably, you know, I think it, I don't know why, but I think it happened out of the blue. You know, it happened, it was a shock. It was. I feel like it was a shock that it even happened. 
But now we have these people that are wondering if they should even work together. This is love. The Ace of Cups. This is love. It's unavoidable love. The Tower Reverse, unavoidable. I mean, so it is. It's love. Overflowing. We have somebody here that's been stalling really, really bad. Stalling, 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 contemplating, not really moving forward. Definitely. We got the high priestess reversed. This is, this is, this is, this, so somebody is fearing hidden agendas. What are the hidden agendas? Somebody hasn't, they've been keeping their true feelings a secret, keeping them to themselves. Not listening to their gut. Over analyzing and analyzing and analyzing and analyzing. That, I see that. Somebody has been really over analyzing, not just going with it. Just It's almost like they're trying to fight the script because she's got the script in her hand. Then we got these, and it's, I put it right here. It's like this is meant to be. Judgment. This is 20. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Maybe Judgment Day was on the 20th. I don't know. <laughs> but this is judgment. This is the truth. This is also a reconciliation, perhaps. This is giving somebody a chance. This is resurrection. Somebody has some sort of awakening. They have some sort of epiphany. This is a card of rebirth. It's a card of renewal. There could be a, a reconciliation of a relationship where working together was a real challenge. But it's love. And it's meant to be. And you probably can't avoid it, no matter how hard you try. This new beginning, this is a transformation. This is, this is whatever ended, needed to end so that you could have this rebirth, so that you could have this renewal. We definitely have somebody here that is thinking about this relationship. Both people are. Both people are thinking if, you know, we can make this work. There's a deep bond here. I think it's part of the script. Somebody has been trying to avoid it. They've been trying to avoid their, their intuition, their gut, whatever. Or the script, whatever. But now they have to make this decision. So I think both people are in the process of making a decision as to whether they can swallow their pride and speak their truth and reconcile whatever um, four of swords reverse both people I think are mentally exhausted exhausted because it's like this has turned their lives upside down somebody has become exhausted they may have even isolated themselves very frustrated Somebody's been blocking their heart. Blocking. Somebody's been blocking. Blocking their feelings. Blocking their emotions. Somebody may have been avoiding the truce, truth. Or maybe even it is a truce. That's what came out of my mouth. 
Maybe there's going to be a truce. I don't know. Anyway, I meant to say truth. Somebody has been avoiding the truth, which has been causing them mental exhaustion. Seriously. And now there's an opportunity. This is, this is rising up. This is a reconciliation. This is a rebirth of a relationship. Here comes the truth. Here comes the truth. Truthful communication. This is the power. This is the, the sword of truth. Somebody gets some sort of wake, awakening that this is the truth. And, they, and this is communication. This is, commu this is the sword of communication. It's the raw truth. The raw truth is, is that this is love. It's funny. It is pointing right at the love. And I didn't even think when I put it down. I just went to turn the card over for the camera. And I looked down and saw. It's the it is true love. Truth. The sword of truth. Love. True love. <laughs> oh, so this is for the 22nd. This is for the 22nd. There may not be much movement. We got some contemplation going on. There could be some communication probably. I think there probably will be. Somebody is going to put in effort and they are going to communicate. That's what I just saw. It's like now they want to work together. Now they, they, want, to, they want to make this work. They can't avoid the love connection. It's the truth. So, I mean, I guess I'll get one of these. I don't think I really need to, but I will. Let's get one of these. Well, past life relationship. You have known each other before. <laughs> I hate to look what's underneath it. Oh, and that's funny. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, but... It's somebody that you have known before. I mean, it is. It's This is somebody that you have known in a previous lifetime. They're, they're meant to be in your life. It's part of the script, like I said. It's meant to be. You can't. It's undeniable. I'm sorry, but that's exactly what it is. This is not the person that broke you. That broke you, broke you last. This is the new person that has stirred your romantic feelings that you feel a connection with. It is. It could be somebody from the past, past, but I, I, in my heart, do not think it is. So yeah, this is what I have. I mean, it's true. I'm just going to put that right back where I had it. true love and it's wish fulfillment you can have it all this is the nine of cups you can have it all everything extreme abundance whatever it is what it is talk to you next time good luck